Now we got a teacher in the classroom on school hours, stripping down butt naked, bending over and showing everything on the video and all you could see was cellulite hanging in pubic hair. This is a disgrace and a shame that this is the type of educator and teacher that is in the classroom. Yo, guys, this is wild. I have a very, very extremely wild video for you guys today. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Smash that like button. Let's get this to 200 likes. Guys, this is crazy. So this teacher was basically caught filming herself doing explicit videos while she was butt naked bending over. It's just it's so disgusting and vile the generation that we are living in the world what it has come to is so disgusting if something like this happened 50 years ago there would be an outrage throughout all of america now this just happened a few days ago and it's like eh, whatever it's pride month yeah whatever it's not a big ordeal why is nobody outraged by this why is a teacher thinking it's okay to be able to do this disgusting acts in a school. Why is that seen as, oh, it's whatever. Ha, ha, ha. That's not cool, guys. This is really disgusting. This literally just happened a few days ago, right before Pride Month. Disgusting. And it's just honestly so satanic. And it shows that we're living in the end times, guys. We're living in the end. And she made multiple videos. Yes, the district was unaware until we brought this to their attention. But what we're asking you to do now is to go even further. Nullifying her contract is not enough. We demand that the superintendent of board ban her from ever teaching in this school district again. We want a permanent ban on her. Secondly, we demand that the school district send a letter to TEA demanding her certification as a teacher be terminated and revoked. Three. We're demanding that this district contact law enforcement. And we want to make sure that the students that she taught are interviewed. Our hotline is set up to make sure that she didn't do additional things in the classroom that may be, that may be inappropriate, unethical, unprofessional, or dangerous in the environment of those children. If she would do this in the classroom, what else will she do? This woman obviously had lost her damn mind. She needs psychotropic medication. She pulls out her breasts and she's juggling them. Look like she about to fall over. Then she bends over and pulls down her panties, spreads her cheeks. I'm not lying, I'm telling you what's on the video. Spreads her cheeks. This is madness. Alrighty, sir. I don't think I needed those details, but I mean, I, I think I get the point, guys. I mean. This is just really sad and it's so degrading that this is happening all throughout the world, guys. I mean, you literally have like in schools, your kids aren't safe no more. This is why so many people that are awake to this stuff, they're either doing homeschooling with their kids, they're living off grid, they're doing like some sort of uh, thing that's alternative to public schooling. Because in public schools, all you see nowadays are mass shooting on the news. Another thing you see is teachers being caught for being PDF files and doing disgusting, degrading things in public schools. I mean, it's just not a safe, good environment to send your kid to anymore. It's not like the 1980s where you could just safely send your kid to school like, hey, you're going to go to school and your teacher doesn't want to do anything weird to you or your teacher isn't some kind of creep. But you don't know that anymore, guys. In 2024, you don't know what your kids' teachers are doing. It's actually a very, very scary thing. And that's why I actually have a thing. Whenever I have kids, I don't know if I really want to send them to school. It's a very scary, scary situation that you're kind of forced to be in. This isn't just a Christian thing or a conservative thing. I think this is a human being issue, guys. This is a human dilemma that we're currently struggling with against the satanic like elitists and their policies that they enforce in our societies. And then like even down to the local level with the police not doing anything and then just allowing these criminals to just to freely do whatever they want. Like, it's so disgusting and degrading. How did we get to the point where we have a teacher being caught, bending over, and doing explicit videos in a school?
Like, guys, who does this in a school? We're talking about a literal school. This isn't her doing it at her house and then she does a teacher as to have a second job or something, even though I disagree with that as well. But she's not she's not even doing that. She's literally at a school where there's other children at a quote unquote professional workplace. And she's literally filming explicit videos of herself. Guys, this is wild. This is wild. This literally should be taken to another level because honestly, you don't know what she's done in private. Who knows if she's done things to the kids around her? I don't know. I'm not making any accusations because I don't know her from a lick of pain. But I think what he's saying, he's making some pretty qualified points. I mean, it is an actual concern. Like, well, how do you know she hasn't done anything else? This woman should never, ever be allowed to be an educator. This woman should never be allowed to work around children ever again. And I believe that if a thorough investigation takes place, you can find something criminally to bring her into a courtroom for. Because I've seen law enforcement put parents in courtrooms for far much less than this. If we can put Donald Trump in the courtroom and find something to prosecute him for, don't tell me we can't find something to prosecute this woman for. This is sad. This is madness. This is filth at its finest. And so we're praying that the school district, we're not attacking you. You didn't know anything about this lady. But now that you do know, show the aggressive, proactive steps that you will take to make sure she never re-enters a classroom. Um, from what I was told is that she's looking for employment with other school districts. So that's why this is imperative that we amplify this issue because this is how you have demented teachers going from one district to the next doing this type of behavior. So I just want to send a message out to her because, see, that video was so horrific and, and appalling. We just want her to know that her retired porn star activities is done, okay? You're done. You would never let set foot in now one of these classrooms. You would not even have the opportunity to disgrace our eyes with that foolishness that you did in that video. So your porn days is over. And also your teaching days. Oh, that's a wild, wild take, guys. I mean, I don't I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say, guys. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Like it's crazy to know that we live in a society where that's normalized. But you guys know the word of God tells us about this. It warns us that in the end times, people will be lovers of themselves, that people will become so prideful and boastful that they don't care about anyone else. This is all specifically prophesied in the word of God. And yes, there is redemption in Christ Jesus. There is room for forgiveness if you truly repent of your sins. But there is also there's also a thing where we can't take advantage of God's grace. You can't just take advantage of God's grace and say, oh, I'm OK because I asked God for forgiveness. You have to truly repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. But this is honestly so, so, so disgusting, guys. I mean, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you guys think, uh, you know, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Is this like surprising to you or no? I mean, I don't really know what to say. It's really it's really crazy. But I think that we should all look unto Christ because without Jesus Christ, this is what happens to the world. The world, when it's far from God, you can see it in the fruit. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share. And uh, I hope you guys have a very blessed weekend.